Hey guys, I've got another answer for one of your questions today. Today's question comes from Kirk Hammett, who asks, What's your take on Richard Stallman's philosophy, free as in freedom versus open source software? Okay, so this is a very big question that I can really only scratch the surface of today, but I am going to try nevertheless. Okay, so... Uh, Richard Stallman is most well known for being the founder of the Free Software Foundation and he has a pretty sort of well-defined mantra as to what it means to be um, free and open source in regards to software. Um, and it's I'm going to put a link to a video of his down in the description below where he talks about basically the tenets of what it means to be uh, what, what free and open source software is all about. Um, there are a lot of uh, discussions and there are a lot of uh, debates, arguments surrounding the idea of language when it comes to free and open source software. And I have always been on, or I've, very, I've always approached it from a very sort of similar angle, a very consistent angle, and that's that I try and use as inclusive as language as possible. And that sometimes means being significantly less dogmatic and significantly less ideological when it comes to discussing things uh, rather than sticking to sort of ideological terminology by the book. So Richard Stallman will always say that it's very important to not refer to... Um, GNU Linux is just Linux, but GNU Linux, because it uh, basically accredits GNU Linux um, properly rather than Linux, which is just the kernel. That being said, though, and whereas he is not wrong, Linux is what people know as the GNU Linux user space as. Um, when people say Android, they don't necessarily think of Linux, and I know that there is a little bit of sometimes ambiguity or maybe even a little bit of confusion when I use the term Linux and sometimes I'm referring to Android and sometimes I'm not and sometimes I'm referring to Chromebooks and sometimes I'm not and also Chromebooks kind of really are GNU Linux as well because it's based on Gentoo so there is a lot of uh, there's a lot of confusion or potential confusion when it comes to language and I try and be as inclusive and straightforward as possible rather than being uh, sort of dogmatically ideological about it the sort of the epitome of this is the term Libra in terms of Libra software. I very rarely ever use the term Libra because it's not something that you can just say to someone on the street and they'll immediately understand the ramifications of it and the consequences of it and the benefits of it. I try and use the term open source. It's a significantly more universal term. Now, there are obviously differences between these terms, but these differences also... Uh, or you can derive different value from these different terms, not just from the language itself, but also from what the language means. So not everything that is open source is Libra and free as well. That being said, though, the personal value or the value from at least my perspective that I get from open source software is the transparency. That is where I see the real value and the real benefit and the real integrity of open source software and Linux and all the software that sort of surrounds it. Not only that, but also the open source software that you see on Windows as well. Because even if you, for one reason or another, have to run a Microsoft Windows operating system or a, or a Mac, it's always better to use as much open source software as possible uh, because, as well, you're supporting projects that are doing a lot of hard work, often either underfunded or completely not funded at all. Now, I think, like I say, I'm significantly more fluid on the language. I'm significantly less fussy about it, and I would rather use language that might not be 100% correct if it means that people who are significantly less tech savvy and who are maybe less politically aware understand it rather than actually just be correct by the book. And I know that this is a really sort of treacherous view to take sometimes when it's, um, w when you're expressing opinions about such things on the internet because there will always be someone there to correct you whenever you make a mistake, even though you sort of know you're making the mistake. But again, it's about being accessible and it's about being inclusive. Open source and the open source community grows stronger the more people who are involved with it. And that doesn't just necessarily mean programmers and developers, although obviously they play a fundamentally imperative role in the whole thing but also sort of users supporters people that donate people that uh, signal boost various useful pieces of open source software people that write documentation help others use it there are a million and one ways that you can help the open source community and it could very well be in ways that aren't necessarily immediately obvious and sometimes for example if you wanted to 
uh, encourage more art designers or UI designers to actually get involved in open source projects. They might not necessarily be the most politically minded people. They might not necessarily know the importance of Libra um, software. And to explain the importance and to explain the benefits using significantly simplified language or using more accessible language or using language that they or using words that they already know the definitions of will be more helpful here than having to introduce them to an entirely new vocabulary. And I think that sometimes language can put up just as many walls as it breaks down. And I think that we want to try and grow our community and to include as many people as possible. And if that means using a certain type of language, then I'm all for it. I don't necessarily see the problem. Whereas Richard Stallman says, no, the language is very important. We have to use it. Now, that being said, the meaning behind said language, I completely agree with him on. on. And I, I think that ideologically speaking, Richard Stallman is a pillar of the open source and the Libra open free, etc. community. Um, he is very much on the far end of the spectrum, even among Linux users, and a lot of um, Linux users consider him something of a radical. And he is, and I think he, he almost wears that on his sleeve. That being said, though, we sort of need radicals. We need people who are dogmatically attached to the ideology behind free and open source software because they act as an anchor. They act as a compass so that we always sort of question and know and are able to sort of plot where we are relative to the rest of the entities in the sort of digital sphere, be it Richard Stallman or be it, you know, Bill Gates or Steve Jobs. Um, and it's nice to have someone like Richard Stallman and his philosophy and his ideology and for him speaking out on these issues because even if we don't necessarily agree with them, he holds a very strong point um, from values that we do share as well. So it's very possible that you might not necessarily agree with someone's politics, but you might agree with their values. I often find this uh, is the case because I live in a very conservative community, but I'm a very liberal-minded person. Now, that being said, I am not constantly at odds with everyone who I live with in my community because even though we have different politics, we still hold values of things like community and cooperation very close to our hearts, and we can often overlook the the sort of the politics of it in favor of just the core values and in favor of the general sort of community that we want to build. The communities that we tend to want to build, we all tend to agree on what they look like. It's just how we get there might might be a little bit different and we, you know, discuss and we argue, but it, it doesn't necessarily put pit us against each other. And I often feel like that that is some a strength often of the open source community as well, is that we all come from different political backgrounds, but I think that our values are very, very, very similar. The values um, that Richard Storm lays out uh, include things like the ability to use your software for whatever purpose you want to, the right to know how your software is made, and the right to improve that software and then redistribute it. And these rights come from values of, um, you know, libertarianism and personal autonomy and uh, and, and just generally freedom and, and liberty. And I don't mean freedom and liberty in the sort of the jingoistic American kind of way, uh, but I mean it in the very sort of the very literal, uh, our, our right to do, uh, to run our lives and to run our software the way that we want to, obviously providing that it doesn't infringe on the rights of other people. And these core values, I think that the vast majority of the Linux world do share when it comes to politics, even if the actual politics be um, sort of in front of it do differ from, from person to person and no person has the exact same politics as anyone else nor should they, we are all different we all have different backgrounds, we all have different experiences uh, and we all have different sort of educations and we've all read different books and as a result of that we are going to have different policies but that doesn't necessarily mean that we can't build on a set of core values and that is why I believe the open source community or the free and open source community is as strong as it is and that's why I believe that it by and large is as united as it is. Basically the long short of what I'm trying to say is I know that Richard Stallman is a very controversial figure in the free and open source Linux world etc but I don't necessarily believe that his principles and his values are and I think that sometimes he expresses them using very sort of explicit language and very um, very specific language that I think that people don't necessarily agree with the sort of the linguistics of um, of how he expresses his politics and, how, uh, and his values but um, I think that his values are actually pretty um, pretty widely 
accepted in the Linux community and even outside the Linux community as well. Um, and it's nice to have someone like him speaking out on a lot of the issues surrounding privacy and surrounding free software. And I think that he is an absolute credit to the community. I, I agree with him on like 95% of his politics, actually. I'm very, very, very um, on board with with his personal politics, but I know that a, a lot of people aren't necessarily so. I think they think that he might be a bit radical or that he might be a bit left-wing or, or anything like that. But, um, but yeah, I certainly personally agree with his politics, but um, I certainly accept and understand that that's not necessarily a universally accepted viewpoint. Um, in all honesty, I really do wish that Linus Torvalds and Richard Stallman actually got on a little bit better. I think that it it is a real um, disappointment that that that's like the big division in the Linux world is Linus Torvalds and and the Free Software Foundation just constantly being at odds with each other, even though that you know nine times out of ten they're effectively singing from the same hymn sheet. But but there we go. The world is not perfect and we must persevere. Uh, so I hope that has somewhat answered your question. Um, thank you very much for asking it. It's something I've wanted to talk about for quite some time now. And um, that's about it for me today. Until next time, I've been Chris Ware and you've been awesome. Take care now.